in, in regards to styles, we're, we both like the humor and we both yes. like to talk about something in our paintings. They're it has narrative. to tell a story. Well, for instance, Frankenstein. Yeah. Frankenstein is called Going Green and it's all about um, our environment today. So the windmills that he's holding uh, represent wind power and he is totally recycled and he was brought by body parts and he was brought together by lightning. Yeah. Uh, brought back to life and he's yeah. got a little recycled logo on him on his tag so that's all about what's going on in our environment today I'm making a statement I don't know if you can get that one down there the one with the orange sky it's called it's called urban forest and uh, that was inspired by driving down highway 9 from Upper Canada Mall heading west uh, there used to be fields and there used to be trees and now they've been totally replaced by just houses and all you see are just rooftops so that's become the new forest and you see that everywhere forever both of us yes, forever both of us forever you know usually they say yeah as soon as I could hold a crayon I started drawing on the walls and that's the truth for both of us yeah. except I didn't draw on walls I, I had did. a chalk did you draw on walls I drew on the bottom of a, a dining room table my parents were kind of upset but they also laughed so <laughs> <laughs> my background was I was drawing looking at books and stuff growing up and then I took um, advertising and graphic design so went to the commercial end of drawing and painting and then I just always loved the old masters so I had a great um, chance to go to Italy. I went to Italy and I studied traditional painting and drawing in the 90s, mid 90s and then I came home and um, kind of put together the traditional and the pop art and the cartoons that I always loved and created what I do now. I don't have much of an art background that way. I always love to draw and do all that type of stuff, but I did one year of illustration after high school, which didn't work out very well. And then I did computer programming and engineering and all kinds of other things, accounting, everything in a totally different direction. And I, somewhere in my 30s, I decided I really need to do something more interesting. I can't just be behind a computer for the rest of my life. So I started taking some interior decorating courses at night and I graduated from that. And I partnered up with another lady and we went out and we started decorating. But we ended up actually doing more um, painting and mural work than we did in stenciling, because that was popular at the time, than, than we did decorating. So I got into that and then I ended up opening a store on Young Street here in Aurora and that's where I met Judy. Yes. And then we started doing work together and after the store closed we continued it and one day Judy said to me, Eva, why aren't you painting on canvas? She made me so mad. You remember that? Yes. You remember that? Yes. <laughs> and then I finally started painting some things on canvas, some of the urban series, and it just kind of took off from there.